The ability to nail your melodies is one of the most important skills you could ever know how to do because a strong, memorable melody is what's going to keep your listeners coming back for more. Today I'm going to show you the easiest method to making legendary melodies. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make the greatest melodies you've ever made in your life. And I truly guarantee that if you watch this entire video and apply exactly what I'm going to show you, that your melody game will step up by at least 20%. By the way, 20% gang, you guys have been killing it in the comments section lately. Let me get a 20% gang from all of you right now in the comments. I'll be monitoring the comments today after I upload this video, so I better see you down there. In order to make the best possible melodies, you have to set yourself up for success. You gotta give yourself a really powerful, emotional foundation that just gets you in your feels. And what I like to do is get a nice set of chords and a nice atmospheric layer just to get myself there and in melody making mode. Because making a melody out of thin air is kind of like painting a picture with a blindfold on. You can pull it off, but it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to do that. So the chords I'm working with today are an F sharp chord, a B flat, an A flat, and a D flat. And together with these chords and atmospheric sounds that I made with some vocals that I got off splice.com, we get this. So if those chords don't get you in your feels, I don't know what will. So now let's go ahead and drop this melody. For this melody, you have to use a sound that just keeps you in your feels. So like a really pretty sound if you're trying to make a pretty melody. If you're going for an aggressive melody, use an aggressive sound. A dark melody, use a dark sound. So I'm using a nice light pluck from my sound pack called Orbital, which you can check out in the description below, and it's called Pluck Summer. And the easiest way to make a melody is to break it down into sections. Now, I teach a lot of people, and I've watched a lot of beginners try to make a melody. The first thing they do is they just start writing notes and writing notes and writing notes, and they play it to see if it sounds good. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't, because you can't just aimlessly throw notes at our grid here and expect them to be good. You have to break your melody into sections and this is a very common practice for poetry, hip hop, lyric writing, and any type of structured writing like that. So sections of a melody are gonna be in bars and your melody is generally gonna be four bars long. Four or eight bars, but in electronic, you're most likely going to be making a four bar melody. And so this means that we're going to start on bar number one and write stuff in bar number one. And we're not going to move on to the other bars until we get something that sounds good. And we're going to use repetition to build the rest of the melody. All we have to do is nail this first bar. Sounds good, those notes totally work. And once we get three notes that work, we should be able to copy them to the th next three bars and get something that sounds quite good. It's gonna sound repetitive right now, but it should sound good. And if it sounds good, we're good to move on. Sounds good. Now what we could do now that we have what's called a rhythm, we can start making the notes a little bit more unique and less repetitive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to break this now into halves. And I'm gonna work on this half first and this half second. And all I'm gonna do with this half is close the melody like that by just changing the last note. Sounds good. So now what we could do, this really leads us into the second half. And we can alter the notes. So now, actually, I'm just going to take three and repeat it. 
So when I build melodies, I'm always repeating the sections because that's going to set me up for success. So that sounds good. But a melody is very much like a sentence and that you have to end the sentence with a period or what I like to call closing the melody. So what I do is I come to bar number four and we could do something different with this bar just to close this melody up. So let's go ahead and listen to it real quick and see if we get any ideas. sounds so pretty totally gets me in my feels so in order to win at your melody game your melodies need the right mixture of repetition and rhythm and hitting the right notes and if you can nail that your melodies will be amazing every single time if you would like to learn more about melody writing chord writing sound design and every other element of music production come meet me in my EDM boot camp I left a link for you at the top of the description below and keep in mind that the EDM boot camp is not just a course but it's also an entire back-end mastermind group where you can share your tracks for feedback with me and the other students of the course as many times as you would like and if that sounds like something that you're into go ahead and check out that link below and I'll see you in there and stay tuned for next video